Coming here from the Long Island International Film Expo, my name is Steve Strangio talking to the filmmakers. This gentleman right here is going to tell you who he is and the name of his project. Go. Hi, uh, I'm Casey DeFrimery. I'm the writer and director of the film The Needle. All right, tell us more about The Needle. So The Needle is, um, is a horror movie, and basically the general idea is that it's about um, a, a, uh, basically a struggling heroin addict who's actually holed up in an abandoned, um, abandoned warehouse, but she's ba basically haunted from a ghost from her past. Okay, all right. What uh, drew you to this type of uh, story? So basically, like I'd always wanted to do a horror movie, like mm. you know, from like from the beginning. But like it wasn't really a genre I really kind of grew up with. But uh, and I didn't really have like a big idea that I really got interested in. But when I got more into the idea of really doing one, the first thing you always have to ask is if you're going to do a horror movie, you have to ask what scares you. Right. Like what's absolutely something that would just you know just wreck your life and just not like you just like what's the last thing you would ever want to have happen to you? Right. And in my experience, I felt like it was a case of getting sort of sucked into a cycle of addiction gotcha, and gotcha. without naming you know like the parties of like the guilty parties or anything like that like i've had you know friends i've had some family members who've you know dealt with it and like dealt with different forms of addiction mm. and so to fall into that i felt like okay like there's basically a lot of potential here for to tell like a really personal story really involving one and a really if i did my job right a really scary one Using a, using a subject that's really hard to get right on camera right, and right, right. and not you know feel exploitive or uh, and such so it was a big challenge but I I, I plowed right through it and uh, I'm really happy with how with how it came out and it, it got me here there we go so I mean there are many different types of, of horror how would you it's like more of a realistic horror or more of a is there, is there any supernatural elements or is this a straight natural horror so like w w within the horror subgenres it's basically like, the main like Sort of supernatural force. It's a. It's basically a ghost story. Okay. But like, if you were to, if you want to like, uh, like segment it even more, basically it's kind of more in the line of like the A twenty four, elevated horror genre. Right. You right. Know, but like more so where it's a. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty. It's a pretty dour movie. But I'm hoping there's at least some layers of, of hope by the end of it. But uh, yeah. but yeah, like there's a lot of different types of horror movies. But those are the, the ones made by A twenty four felt like. Thematically and, and style wise, the closest to what I was trying to accomplish with it. Right, they don't do it with a lot of money, too. They actually just kind of get to the point and make you feel, you know, part of it. I mean, it, so it's the type of horror story that in reality could just really happen, or is it, now you mentioned that, is it based on anybody that you know, or is it based on any type of like story that you wanted to just get out there? Tell us more about that. It's kind of a more of a story that uh, was based on something I really just kind of want to get out there. Like, yeah, yeah. I've known a lot of people who've like struggled with addiction and like, the, and more so basically about how it's it really affects like it re just completely rewires your brain right and I felt like there was like that's automatically a, just a freaking terrifying idea mm. and so it was it was kind of you know based on like some observations I've had and like like there's like little stories in there that I've, I've, I've kind of thought of but because most of the movie takes place in um, an abandoned warehouse that I found it was kind of with this idea that like the warehouse is a prison right and there's a lot of like you know there's a uh, a lovely list of horror movies that you know can that use that idea of like the prison as like or like the internal prison as its own terrifying setting. So what was it mean like filming actually in that warehouse? Were there any challenges for that? Well, so, well, so well, the warehouse that I found was actually it was a place through Pure Space mm. that I found that um, basically it had all like mostly set decorated already, and there's a few other locations that I use with that general idea. But uh, but it's one that's used in like, a lot of different projects. So it was actually it was actually a fairly convenient setup. Right, right, right. For it, um, even though I wish that. The, the the height of the ceiling was only about maybe eight feet tall, and mm. one of my actors was like six foot five. No, oh, no. With lights that we had Lighting to hang had from to be it. had a challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, but you know that that's those are easy obstacles compared to you know the, compared to the average production, anyways. Do you feel that filming on location kind of really adds to the authenticity of what you want to do? I, I I think it does. Like to really make use of a of a good like um like studio setting that requires a lot of money anyways which is not yeah. really in abundance when you're doing a short but you know I, I think there is like you know an, an extra layer of things for the actors to react to there's especially for settings like that there's a lot of things that you know were already pre-built into the set decoration that you don't really have to expand on much right, um, right, right. so at least at least it's at least enhancing on something that's there versus creating something from the uh, from the beginning and uh, that's always a very helpful thing, at least for my, you know, for the way I approach movies. It helps you as a filmmaker. It, it helps the actor feel the uh, the reality mm -hmm. uh, of the scene. Right. right. So, how has your uh, film expo uh, experience been? Uh, hanging out with us. 
So I, I it, it's been really good. Now yeah. I've now as at least as of this moment yeah. on uh, on uh, July twenty first, <laughs> I've I've been in I've been in New York for only a couple of hours. I had a very long day. But, I understand. Uh, but everyone here has been really like nice and helpful and you know and cool and everything like that. And um, yeah, so I've just been yeah you know, I've had like had a blast and uh, so far. And, I got a free shirt, and every time I get every time I get a free shirt at a get festival, a free, yeah, you gotta get a free shirt. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way it works. Um, and uh, and this is Long Island, and you know it's like it's it's New York is to us is like it's it's over there somewhere. Right. So like you know Long Island is its own separate entity. Some where, where are you actually from? What? The uh, so I'm from L.A. Okay. Or at least that's where I'm currently living, which basically has a lot of like similarities in that like yeah, there's L.A., but it's really like a thousand different like little districts. Little little towns and districts. It's very suburban. Don't, people don't realize that, and that's the same thing here with Long Island. We're like a whole bunch of towns crammed together. Right. So yeah. So it's yeah. So and and it's also one of those, some of those places where. If you if there's a district you've never heard of, and then someone mentions, oh, oh that's where I live, and it's like, oh, I've never heard of it. They're like, well, why? And then they get mad at you for it. So <laughs> that's that's just one of the funny the fun things about living in a metropolitan area. Right, there's a lot of town pride too. Pretty much. All right, fantastic. All right, so once again, tell us your name and the name of your project. Uh, so I'm Casey DeFremery. I'm the writer and director of The Needle. Where can we find this anyway? Beside here. Uh, I mean, so I mean, it's playing here uh, right now. It's in the festival circuit. Uh, the next festival screening is going to be at the Houston Horror Film Festival. Uh, uh, in mid in mid August, All so right. and other places to be determined. To be determined. All right, guys. My name is Steve Strangio. We're hanging out at the Long Island International Film Expo.